Hi everyone, just a quick video on uh, engine ignition coils, what they are, what they do, and how to test them if you, think, if you think that they've gone wrong. So first of all, what is an ignition coil? Well, it's basically an amplifier or a, a, a generator, if you will, and it takes the 12 volts from the car battery and amplifies it up to the 15, 20,000 uh, volts that you'd need to uh, fire the spark plug across the spark plug gap in the highly compressed atmosphere of the cylinder. So how does it do that, first of all? Well, if I was to do a cross-section of this, you'd get something that looks a little bit like this. So on the outside, on these two contacts, you've got a primary coil that goes around the outside. And then within that, you've got the secondary coil, which is a lot tighter in its windings. And then you've got an iron core and the exit off towards the uh, distributor. So as you can see from the little drawing that I've done, 12 volt supply comes in the positive side, which is this one on this particular uh, ignition coil. And the 12 volts uh, passes, obviously, through the primary winding. When the power gets cut off to the primary winding, it creates a surge uh, and it passes that electricity through in induction onto the secondary winding. So the primary coil itself will generate it up to about 200 volts and then that induction across to the secondary winding, which is a lot tighter. So it's creating a much bigger electromagnetic field, boosts it up to the 20,000. So it's about a 10 times increase between the primary and the secondary winding and then off it goes, as I say, to the, to the distributor. So that's in essence how it works. So we're gonna test the uh, uh, ignition coil now. So to test the primary winding, the outside one, nice and simple, get your multimeter, uh, set it to the 200 setting, which is the lowest one here. And all we're gonna do is get our two leads. And we're gonna go from a positive to negative side of the, of the coil. So again, positives on that side for me, not that it should matter uh, in this particular case, but positive to negative side, and just hold the two leads on there. As I've shown on the, uh, uh, whiteboard here um, I'm looking for between 0.5 and 2 ohms uh, to be within spec and on this particular one 1.4 ohms at 200 so again 0 0.5 to 2 ohms uh, 1.4 ohms at 200 perfectly fine with that well within spec uh, because the windings are a lot uh, more compact in the secondary you're expecting a lot higher resistance because you're going through a lot more copper. So we need to raise it in this case to 20,000, so 20k ohms. And then we need to go from the positive side of the ignition coil as before, but this time to the output here where the secondary would be exiting from. As you can see, hopefully from the uh, the whiteboard again, looking between 6 and 20,000 ohms resistance. So in this case, 6.63 thousand, so 6,630 uh, ohms resistance which is right at the bottom end of the, the spec to be honest so quite a good condition coil so we've got six point excuse my pen 6.63 ohms at the 20,000 setting um, both those within spec so this ignition coil is fine if you are struggling to start the car and you want to rule off rule everything out up to the ignition coil a quick way of doing a test would be to go from the positive side on here to a body earth so find a, a bare piece of metal on the car itself turn the ignition on and go from positive side of this uh, primary winding to the body of the car and you should get 12 volts or very close to 12 volts. That rules out all the fuse panel and all the associated wiring up to this point. I uh, hope that makes sense and uh, I'll see you on the next one.